Uh, so this is my dinosaur, Barry. Uh, the, little, the story behind him is I used to work at Texas Roadhouse and people would always leave stuff behind and obviously usually we try to give it back unless sometimes it's really cool like a little dinosaur then we keep it. There was a girl there at work that I liked and so I picked it up and I gave it to her and she was the one who named it and everything. And she, I honestly think that Barry is just because it's like you know, it's, it's a brontosaurus, and I think that that was really lazy, but I never told her that, so... Um, <laughs> she ended up moving to New York City, I think, like a year and a half ago now, almost two years ago. And uh, when she left, um, I was going to give it to her as a going away present, but she left before I could, so I just kind of carried it with me. It's less of a thing to think about her, but more just kind of like... It's just fun to carry it around. But, I don't know. Sometimes it reminds me of her. But that's not why I keep it. Go to school here, obviously. This is Pippin. He's probably about 12. And this is Pippin's best friend, Tina the Tuna. Um, Tina is actually a rainbow trout. But my sister had her in college, and my sister's about 10 years older. Um, she went to school at UMass in Amherst, Massachusetts. I remember going to her apartment in Boston, and um, like ever since I was a kid, and she'd always have Tina on the bed. And then when I was old enough, we had kind of a little uh, rite of passage ritual, and she handed me the, the big pillow standing outside our house in Des Moines. And, and my mom took pictures. Um, Tina has seen a lot of things. We, <laughs> we've used Tina in photo shoots and um, had her running around at parties and um, she came to family dinners, not like as a guest, she just happened to be there. <laughs> there was this one party, it was, a, it was a New Year's party and I was actually gone for the party because that was the year that my sister got married and um, so all the roommates had people over, and it was tons of fun, whatever, and someone slept in, one of our friends slept in my bed to pass out, and uh, when I came back from my trip, I went upstairs to my room, I looked at Tina, and I was like, what, this is so gross, someone puked on Tina the tuna. And uh, so I run around the house, I'm like, who puked on Tina the tuna? And my roommates still give me shit about it, because, I don't know, I guess it's pretty funny. It's actually my little pocket of treasure. Um, I keep movie tickets. So I collect them um, for many years now. I believe I started around 14 or 15 years old. So, you know, it doesn't seem like a crazy lot, but still much. Silver Lining Playbook. I was in New York with one of my high school friends. We went across this really cute cinema called Angelica, I believe. We randomly picked this film without knowing what it was about. The, we left the theater. So we were trying to find somewhere to actually sit in and rest. But nowhere was open. But we found this little coffee shop. We ordered cheesecake. And yes. The best cheesecake I've ever had in my life was that little corner store, Anna. It was so good that we we felt the urge to like pack one more, and then we go out to explore the city more. Going back to the hotel, we actually saw this homeless dude who's like really miserable and then just lying on the street and stuff, and he was asleep. So we just sort of decided to leave that world most delicious cheesecake ever next to him and um yeah we actually wrote a note saying that we hope you have a great morning with this super with this best cheesecake or something that was 
there was some of a sweet night, I think. I love that night. <laughs>